Hello everyone, today I'm going to be testing out the Halberd engine, which is from the Interstellar Force mod. This thing can go pretty fast, I'm just warning you guys that. And we're going to be taking this thing out on a test flight, and here we go. So I made this little plane here, that goes, is really efficient, and um, you'll see what is very interesting about this. Um, it can go pretty fast. You'll see why. Also, you guys enjoy the video, and um, I'll just let you guys see it. The craziness of this. So I'm actually flying pretty low right now. But I can increase and make not that make make, make it not that bad. So I have a lot of not too much, but you know, not too much weight too. So that we can um, power the halberd. We also have intake air. And um this thing can go so fast that you'll burn up sometimes. So you have to kind of do this to kind of parachute so you don't go so fast. But you can see already Dad, this thing is fast. I don't know if this is better than the Goliath engine or not, but I don't know. I'm not really sure. But this thing can get crazy. Let's just see how well. And I didn't want to add too much weight because then this thing would be hard to fly. It's obviously heavy in the back. I might have to add some struts because um, it's very wiggly, kind of. Yeah, you can see that. But um, as you can see, we're actually pretty far away already. You can see we're going, we're zooming. And, um, you'll be, you'll start to see, oh yeah, there we go, guys, it's getting red. We're at a thousand meters a second now, so we gotta be careful. Reserve our, we've got, or actually not reserve, but we gotta be careful about burning, every, not burning everything up. Or else this is gonna be a complete failure mission. This is like we're re-entering the atmosphere. I mean, the atmosphere is really thick right now. I can almost... Feel the curve. Okay. Okay. Slow that down, whoa boy. This thing is so wiggly. Holy crap. I feel bad for Jebediah and Bill. I have to constantly do these so that it doesn't like burn up. I just want to see how far we are already. Holy crap. I'm gonna just try and get to. I'm just gonna call it Japan. Or we can get down to there, wherever that area is. We can, man. Be happy. We got, we got a good amount of material. Let's just hope that we can land okay. Cause, um, we don't want anything bad to happen. Alright, there we go. It's starting to burn. Cool that down. Alright. Perfect. One thousand years. Dude, this is fast. Oh, crap. Okay, cool that down, cool that down. I can see some land over there. It's to our right. No, oh, that's an island. Oops. Oh, that's actually because the actual engine's running. I'm going to shut the engine down for a quick cooling effect. I'm just gonna cool this down because I don't want the um, actual thing burning up, so I'm just gonna let the thing cool, because, um, we wouldn't want anything bad. So I can't just see the, see the curve of Kerbin right now. So, oh my gosh, oh my! Okay, okay no, no, no big leak, no big leak. This thing is actually... Well, let's re, let's return it on, because we need to actually get to, um, Korea. I'm actually gonna readjust my course so that we are going the right way. Because we need to get to Korea. We need to go to Korea right now. Right. We're heading for Korea. South Korea, that is. Not North Korea. There's some weird stuff going on there. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. I'm not crashing into the water yet. <laughs> yet. But, um,. This thing is actually kind of losing control. No, because that way, um, it has an interesting thing. Oh, shoot, it's over here. Okay. That sucks. Oh, no. We're gonna get stranded out here? Can I cool it down at all? No cooling system? Close and take. We still have like 
can not look at how it is. We're like halfway there in the engine room. You know what? Fine. I'm taking a chance. I'm taking a chance, guys. It's not even that overheated yet, so I'm not. I'm not in the I'm not saying it's overheating so much. Oh, those things over here are the parachutes. I'm not worried about parachutes. I mean, they will be useful for actually slowing down. I mean, get to Korea, however. Or. Oh, shoot! This thing's burning up! That's not good. And go up that, go out. Oh my gosh. So. It appears that we are overheating pretty fast. Alright guys, we're gonna have to perform an emergency landing. We're gonna have to shut down the intake. We're gonna actually keep the intakes open so that we can cool the engine hopefully better. So I'm just shutting the engine down completely, turning the throttle completely off, feeding no more fuel in. And before we land, I'm gonna make sure that correctly so I'm probably going to be performing a rescue mission now because we don't want Jeb and those guys out here alone so let's just fast forward this all right guys here we go no all right guys here we go all right the halberd engine is gone that means no <laughs> no! We're all alone. We're all alone. In the middle. Between Africa and Korea. Poor lads. <laughs> Poor lads. Well, that sucks. So we lost all of our liquid hydrogen. And we lost a ton of crap. Congrats. Congrats! Um, I don't blame Jebediah. I blame Bill. I'm sorry. It, it was kind of close to them, but don't worry. I'm not going to get no. Alright. Well, the safest bet for, I think, Jebediah right now is to just get back in the craft and hang out with Bill. This is Bill. Jebediah. Hi, Bill. Alright guys, so this sucks. This really does suck. I don't know if we're gonna rescue them. Well guys, we tried to get Kurt to Korea. It failed. Um next episode we're gonna do a successful attempt, hopefully. And we might use a halberd engine, we might not. We might try something else from a mod. But we're gonna visit Korea and then we're gonna visit what should I call it? What should I call it, guys? I'm gonna call these the Alps. Well, no, no, never. I don't know. There's a lot of cool places that we can actually visit on Kerbin. This is probably a asteroid. That's a hot spot, but that's almost halfway around Kerbin. So that's gonna be a fun flight. But um, sadly, guys, we're trapped in the middle of the ocean. I mean, this would be more like the middle of the ocean. However, we're pretty close to some islands. Um. We could perform a rescue mission technically if we want to. If we were to put a plane on the end of something else, but sadly guys, we are able, not able to do that, so we're gonna have to end the video here guys, and um, it really, it really sucks. I was really hoping to get to Korea today and check out some of its land spots. We got a little big mountain there. We got bigger mountains over here. We got, we're gonna check out the mountains, the landscape, the coast. A lot of new things, and eventually I'm going to check out the Arctic, too, and the North Pole. I've been to the North Pole, I think, once. That was by myself, though. Without any video. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, I know it was kind of a bad video, because we didn't get to... We didn't get to... Kerman, South... South Kerman, Korea? South Kermia? South Kermia? <laughs> Not North Kermia. Um... Jebed Jebediah's twin was up there. Creating propaganda and everything. 
But yeah, man. So we got likes and stuff, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and um... You know? Pray for Bill. <laughs> pray for Jeb. But um, yeah guys, so... I hope you guys did enjoy watching this video of KSP. It's been a fun time. It's been a fun time here today, guys. And, most importantly, pray for Bill, guys. Or sorry, no, <laughs> pray for Jebediah and Bill. But they are stranded out here for Bye-bye.